differences between mandibular central and lateral incisors. In the previous videos, we have learned the anatomy of the mandibular central and lateral incisors separately. These two teeth may appear indistinguishable within the confines of the oral cavity. However, some unique features set these two teeth apart. Join us in this video as we uncover their differences. It can be learned in two ways. One, by viewing both the teeth simultaneously side by side to note the comparative differences. Second are the standalone features that can be noted while observing a single tooth called absolute differences. Let's begin by looking at their dimension, which is a comparative difference. It's important to note that the mandibular central incisors hold the distinction of being the smallest teeth in the permanent dentition. Unlike the maxillary counterpart, the mandibular lateral incisor is slightly larger than the mandibular central incisor. Next, let's examine their labial aspect. First, let's trace the incisal edge. We can observe an absolute difference. In the central incisor, the incisal edge is straight and perpendicular to the long axis of the tooth. However, in the lateral incisor, it slopes downwards in the cervical direction as we move from the mesial to the distal end of the incisal ridge. However, one absolute difference is that in the lateral incisor, the mesial side is longer than the distal side, resulting in a distally sloped incisal ridge, which is not seen in the central incisor. Now let's trace the mesial and distal outlines of these teeth. Here we can note the next comparative difference. In the central incisor, both the outlines exhibit straight lines and the contact areas are positioned close to the incisal edge. Conversely, in the lateral incisor, the distal outline takes on a subtle convex shape, causing the contact area to be located more cervically compared to the mesial contact area. Additionally, while both the mesioincisal and distoincisal angles in the central incisor are sharp, in the lateral incisor, the distoincisal angle appears rounded. Let's rotate both the teeth to view them from the lingual aspect. We observe that both exhibit relatively less prominent features, such as lingual fossa, cingulum, and marginal ridges. However, it's worth noting that these features are less pronounced on the lateral incisor, which is a comparative difference. Now let's shift our focus to the proximal aspects of these teeth. In both cases, we can observe that their labiolingual dimensions are wider than their mesiodistal dimensions. Finally, Let's examine the teeth from the incisal aspect. First, let's draw a line along the midline, dividing them into equal halves. In the case of the central incisor, both the mesial and distal halves appear identical, making it challenging to distinguish between the two. This feature, otherwise called bilateral symmetry, is an absolute difference observed in the mandibular central incisor. Conversely, in the lateral incisor, such bilateral symmetry is not present. Next, let's observe the incisal ridges of both teeth. Can you note any other absolute differences? In the central incisor, the incisal ridge exhibits a straight orientation that almost forms right angles to the line bisecting the crown. However, in the lateral incisor, the incisal ridge is not straight, but rather inclined and conforms to the curvature of the mandibular dental arch. This results in a subtle appearance of the incisal ridge of the mandibular lateral incisor appearing slightly twisted on its root base, a feature attributed to the distolingual rotation of the crown. Pop quiz I trust that this video has provided you with a comprehensive understanding of the differences between these two teeth. Before we wind up, let's also take a look at this image. Can you identify the mandibular central and lateral incisors? It's quite noticeable that instead of the usual four separate teeth, there are only two incisors positioned on either side of the midline. 
Now let's also examine the X-ray of the same area. What becomes evident is that both the central and lateral incisors are fused or conjoined, resulting in a single broader tooth instead of the typical two separate teeth. This is a developmental anomaly known as fusion. It occurs when two tooth germs which are typically separate unite during development. It is induced by physical forces or pressure that bring the developing teeth into contact with each other. When this contact happens before calcification, it can result in the complete fusion of the two teeth forming a single larger tooth. However, if contact occurs after calcification, results in an incomplete fusion, where only the roots may fuse. In such cases, these fused teeth can have either separate or conjoined root canals. It is observed in both deciduous and permanent dentition. It is more frequently encountered in the mandibular anterior teeth. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.